<laughs> oh, dude, you know what? As it is, it's a beautiful day here in Cape Town. But you know what? In less than a week, the iconic Table Mountain, always peeking up, uh, peeking out there at the back, it will play host to a brand new ultra trail running event on the South African racing calendar. And as you can imagine, much anticipation is building towards it, not only on the local front, but in the uh, from the international trail running communities as well. We have the man organizing the event with us in studio, Nick Bornman. Dude, how are you doing, buddy? All right, thank you for having me. Thank you so much, man. This is very exciting. I mean, we surely have the locations to, to organize an ultra trail running event like the one that's happening this Saturday, right? Um, but firstly, I think, why did you decide to bring this event um, to South Africa? Like, where there's one in France, there's one in Japan. Yeah. Well, we were, um, uh, you know, after I finished my architectural studies, um, I moved to Hong Kong and Beijing. And uh, at the time, I started getting into running because the, you know, living in the cities, they are quite intense. And I wanted to sort of get out there and run. And um, I was, you know, quickly went from uh, doing 20 kilometer races to 40. And then, you know, that suddenly escalated into 100. So I sort of got the bite. And um, uh, I just noticed around me at the time, like, how the ultra distance running scene was exploding over there. And uh, it was quite a simple thing where I just wanted to come back to Cape Town uh, and, you know, run 100K on, on our own fantastic mountain here. And uh, I started doing some research. Um, I didn't see anything. And uh, I thought it a bit absurd <laughs> that uh, a, a city with this kind of mountain does not have an ultra distance running event. So um, I sketched up a few ideas, it became a bit of an obsession, and uh, like an architectural project, uh, start quite vague, yeah. narrowed it down, and um, made it a bit more precise, and then I approached sand parks, and um, I said to them, you know, like, here's, a, here's the idea, and I thought they, they may have thought I was a bit crazy in the beginning, but uh, we just kept at it, and eventually yeah. we got a good working solution, and they've been fantastic in the whole process. Brilliant. Well, like I said, I mean, Table Mountain is probably the best place to, to hold an event like this. You mentioned 100 kilometer. Um, yeah. Talk me through the various distances, what people can expect. It's happening this Saturday, the 25th of October. Well, there's uh, the umbrella or the uh, flagship event is the 100 kilometer, That's it. Uh, and we've also got a 62 kilometer, which also demands uh, Real, you know, uh, you know, physical. Uh, it's a f physically <laughs> it's demanding. It's far. Yeah. It's far. And then we've got a what we almost call a bit of a hybrid race, a 17 kilometer that uh, also incorporates bits of the city and and trails. So, uh, but for all the races, we try to essentially, um, you know, get as much variety and sort of weave in Cape Town's social, mm. cultural, and natural heritage mm. into the race, so that you sort of get a broader experience of the race. So the 100k guys will. They'll run Signal Hill Ridge yeah. around Lion's Head, climb Table Mountain all the way to the top, and then they move down to Landadno, then uh, Hart Bay, then through the Constantia Wine Valley, mm. uh, Newlands Forest, uh, uh, and then to UCT and up and around Devil's Peak. And sure. the 17K guys are, uh, you know, they run through the city, Green Market Square, the gardens, uh, Boer Carp. So it really yeah. is, it's got a bit of everything. Now, entries are closed. I mean, you can't enter anymore, but I mean, right. there's still lots of, lots of space for spectators to come through and just witness the event. It's going to be fantastic. Talk to me about your, the partnership with Hisense. Um, you brought them on board as well. Yeah, if Hisense have been fantastic uh, to put faith in a first year event like this to show sort of the forward thinking of them. Uh, and we really sort of appreciate what they've done and the support they've given us. Uh, they're also giving us, uh, you know, of, of all the prizes they're giving us, there's a 65-inch smart television that we're going to put out for raffle, and uh, the proceeds of that will go to the South African ultra-distance trail running team that's going to be competing in France next year. So it really, it also helps at that level to, to um, you know, uh, help, you know, it's a good cause, and we really want the SA team to also get, you know, more exposure abroad. And the event is also sort of helping out with that. Well, like I said, there's much anticipation building towards it. Are you, are you running? I, I won't be running, but uh, I'll be I'll be at the start finish area the, the whole time. Hopefully, I'll get some time out on the route. But uh, yeah, um, uh, not for me. Not for you, the side of <laughs> I'll, I'll be running. Uh, I'll be running 100 kilometers in January, but not, okay. not at this. You're stage. just going to oversee this one, Nick. Thank yes. you so much for All joining right. us this morning, Nick Borman, the me. the organizer of the inaugural Ultra uh, Trail Cape Town, and it promises to be a fantastic race. One of probably one of the most demanding races in South Africa, if not the toughest in the world. Mm. And we can say that we are super proud having it right here in Cape Town with uh, the uh, iconic Cape or Table Mountain as one of the main features. Now, I don't know about you, Cat. You are fancy run you know after the show maybe attempt 100 kilometers no 15 hours not so bad the Hisense Infinity Pure One has a dual sim so you can work hard and play hard with both worlds at your fingertips Hisense Infinity Pure One balance your life